hello pray and share warriors how are y'all doing tonight i am doing great i am listening to the song that i shared um on facebook today called morning by morning by pat barrett really good song so i want to talk to you today about every day every morning god brings us new mercies and blessings and so we're going to look up some scriptures I'm sorry, my nose itches. So in my YouTube video, I have happy birthday because today is the last day of my birthday month and it is sadness for me because I stretched my birthday out all month. And so tomorrow is a new month. My birthday month goes bye-bye and uh, until next year. But that's all good. All right, so that was my explanation for having happy birthday. It is not my birthday. My birthday was on the 3rd of April, and uh, but today is the 30th, so today is the last day, and up until the last day, I try to do something special. So today, the special thing that I did is I went and got me one of those little pecan pies and some ice cream, and I heated it up in the microwave. Uh-oh. What's it doing that for? I uh, heated it up in the microwave and put ice cream on it and put chocolate syrup on it. And I had some nuts left over from something. I put nuts on top of it. And that was so good. Wow, that was good. I think that's better than birthday cake. That was pretty awesome. All right, so next week I get to stop eating sweet stuff and start eating right again. Okay, well, let's go to God in prayer and let's pray about some of the things that we need his help with. Like this country, this country needs God's help. This country needs Jesus so badly. So let's just kind of uh, praise God for who he is and just kind of pray about some of the things. So I wanted to tell people not to put happy birthday in the comments because it's really not my birthday. It's just the end of my birthday month. Okay, God, we just come to you and we're thankful, God. We're so thankful for the rain that you've sent us for two or three days in a row, God. Only you know how much um, rain is needed for your grass, trees, and flowers, God, and all the animals and everything. God, we just trust you. That's what I'm listening to right now. I will trust you. God, you are on your throne and you are in control. You are the great Jehovah. You are the great I am. You are from everlasting to everlasting. And you are um, our everlasting Father. You are our creator, our sustainer, our provider, our protector. You are our shelter in the storm. You are our strength and our refuge, God. We can rest under your wings, God. God, we just thank you because you are magnificent and powerful and mighty, but yet you are the uh, righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness. You cannot be bought, threatened, or compromised God and you see and hear everything nothing is hidden from you God but yet even though you will come and judge unrighteous God you love you are loving and compassionate and kind you are patient God you are a faithful God you keep all your promises and all of your prophecies will be fulfilled God, we just pray for the lost. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth. That you would allow the Holy Spirit draw them to Jesus so they can be saved. We also pray, God, that um, you would um, open their hearts, God, to the truth. God, we pray for the prodigals to come. We just pray for them to come back to you. For them to repent and to return to you. God, we pray for all the disasters. I haven't even caught 
uh, kept up with things today because I've been so busy. But I'll get caught up on some things, God. Just more shootings, more, more horrific things all over the world, God. We just pray that you would be with these people, that you would help them, God, that that they would see the hands and the feet of Jesus through their tragedy, God. We also pray for all the people that have lost loved ones, God. We just pray that you would give them peace, comfort, and strength, and that, that they would feel your presence in their sorrow. And God, we also just pray for truth. So many stories, so many, some are true, some are not true, God. We just pray for all truth to surface all truth that the lies and deception would be put down God and in Jesus name we pray amen all right so uh, mm, my eye itches. okay so I wanted to read you some things too in my Jesus always because it was kind of going along with what I was reading but I want to read first uh, Lamentations 3, 22 through 23. And that kind of goes along with, um, oh wait, I want to read what I wrote first, sorry. I'm listening to Power by Chris Tomlin, such a good song. Okay, so this is the song Morning by Morning that I shared. And I guess I can't share things to my story anymore. I don't know. Seems like Facebook changed some things. I don't know. So I love this song in message by Pat Barrett. Morning by Morning. I love these lyrics. They are so powerful. Morning by Morning. Great is his faithfulness. He brings us new mercies and blessings every day. We have to trust Him in all things. This isn't easy, and it is a process to get to the point that we can trust God with all things. God created us for His plan and purpose, but He wants us to follow His ways and to walk in the ways of the example of Jesus. We are called to love God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love others also. Not just others that are family and friends, all others too, even our enemies. That is a very hard one, but God will bless us if we love and pray for our enemies. God is on his throne and is in control, whether it appears he is not. He is. He sees all things and hears all things. God is the righteous judge that cannot be bought, threatened, or compromised, unlike many judges in our judicial systems. He will judge all unrighteousness, so we need to stay on the narrow path with Jesus. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish, John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Admit that you are a sinner. Ask for forgiveness. Believe that. Jesus is God's one and only Son. He came to save the world through His death, burial, and resurrection. Confess Jesus as your Savior and Lord of your life. Invite Him into your heart. Leave the old and receive the new. So, you know, every day, every day, God gives us a new day. And what we do with that day that's our choice, what we do with that day. We can use it to glorify Him, or we can use it for ourselves. That's our choice. But He gives us a new day with new opportunities every day. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's move to uh, Lamentations now. Okay, so Lamentations 3, 23 
says this, and I'm sure you've heard this. Um, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. You know, God is compassionate. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seek him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. He sitteth alone and keepeth silence because he hath borne it upon him. So great is God's faithfulness in his his mercies are new. <clears throat> Excuse me. His mercies are new every morning. Every morning we get a new day. Unless it's time to wake up. Unless it's time for us to go and we're just not here anymore. But other than that, we get a new day every day. That we can make better decisions. That we can follow Jesus. That we can seek God's word. That we can pray that we can praise, that we can spend more time in um, fellowship with God and with others also. Okay, well, I want to read also. Didn't quite go with the lesson, but it was really good. I really like Seth's version of this. It's teenage version. It's really, it's very uh, easy to understand. So this again is Jesus Always. This is my devotional that I use every day by Sarah Young. I did not write this. I'm not trying to say that I did. I just want to read to you what my... Uh, Bible study was this morning. Let me satisfy you in the morning with my unfailing love that you may sing for joy and be glad all your days. People seek satisfaction in a vast variety of hurtful ways, many of which are addicting. Even good things can fail to satisfy you if you elevate them above me. So come to me each morning with your emptiness and longings. Sit quietly in my presence communicating with me. Invite me to fill you up to the full with my limitless love. Ponder how long, how wide and long and high and deep is this vast ocean of blessing. Find your satisfaction in me above all else provides a firm foundation for your life. Finding your satisfaction in me above all else provides a firm foundation for your life. Building on this solid foundation enables you to be joyful and glad as you go through your days. You will still encounter hardships because you live in such a broken world. However, I will lovingly guide you along your way as you cling to me in trust. Then your life will be meaningful and satisfying. While you're traveling toward your ultimate goal, the gates of glory. really like that at the very end, the gates of glory. And so these are all the verses that go with this. And I thought it was so good. And I was going to see real quickly if any of these are the same. No, they're not. Okay, they're not. Okay, so let's read Psalm 7324. Psalm 73, 24. My cat had joined me, and then I was scooting her over so I could get her in the frame, and she took off. So she's still a little camera shy, I guess. Okay, so 70, Psalm 73, 24 says this Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel. And afterward receive me to glory. 
Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. Okay, so Psalm 90, 14 says this. O oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad in all our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servants, and thy glory unto their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us, Yea, the work of our hands, establish thou it. So again, uh, O oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy. You know, early would be morning. I get up mid-morning a lot of times. I really like it when I can make myself get up at 8.30. And I know that sounds so late, and I'm sorry, but I used to get up at 5.30 every morning. And so I don't have to anymore, so I'm not gonna. Okay, Ephesians uh, three seventeen says that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge that ye might be filled with the fullness of God now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages world without end amen so that was really good I actually read I was supposed to read 17 through 19 and I read more I usually do because it's just really hard to stop sometimes okay so that is all that I had in here tomorrow we start a new month we start May tomorrow and um, I try not to read this to y'all all the time but sometimes it just fits so well with what the message is that I just want to share it okay so back to Psalms. Psalms 143.8 says this. Listening to Our God. So good. Such a good song by Chris Tomlin. Okay. 143.8 says, Cause me to hear thy loving kindness. In the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy loving kindness' sake. Bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy, cut off mine enemies, and destroy all of them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Okay. So that was a psalm of David. That was a psalm of King David. He was, he was constantly chased by his enemies. Okay, Psalm 5-3. It's really good too. Five three says, My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up, for thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy. And in thy fear 
will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wicked, is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulchre. They flatter with their tongue. So again, he's talking about his enemies, and that's another psalm of David. Um, so Psalms 35 says this. 30 verse 5, not 35. 30 verse 5 says, Sing unto the Lord, this is actually 4, Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy, thy face. And I was troubled. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. And thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with thy gla with gladness, to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee, and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Wow, that was very powerful. Let's see. I think that's kind of all that I see that really goes along with this, but I would like to say the words of a song that I begin my morning prayer with. Oh God, you are my God, and I will forever praise you. Oh God, you are my God, and I will forever praise you. I will seek you in the morning. And I will learn to walk in your ways. O oh God, you are my God. And I will forever praise you. Now that is kind of an older song. But I really like that. I feel like I'm crying out to God. And letting him know that he's important in my life. That I want to learn. And I want to walk in his ways. And I want to seek him every morning. And every morning he does give me new mercies and blessings. And he also gives me new choices. He gives me new opportunities. He wants the very best for us. And a lot of times the reason that we don't have the very best is because we are not walking in his ways. We, have, we must walk in His ways. We must walk in uprightness. Does that mean that we're perfect and that we're never going to sin? No, it doesn't. But what it does mean is that we don't live in our sin. That when we get convicted of our sin, that we repent of our sin. We ask for forgiveness. And repent means turn away. That doesn't mean stay in that sin to ask for repentance over and over and over. That means to or forgiveness over and over and over, it means that we turn from it. We don't stay in it. Okay. So these are my notes from today. So good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings every day. He tells me this every day. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings. New opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new beautiful day of blessings of rain, and it has rained for three days, and I know it is a blessing. I am not a duck, though. I don't really like to be out in it, and I had to go run some errands today, but I did not have to drag my child out, which hates it even more than I do, like screams. He doesn't like the sprinkling sensation of rain. 
so I went by myself, but I wasn't liking it much either, but I do see the value. I see the value of rain. So he said, every day is a new day, child, of new choices. So work on making better choices, child. So I did that. I did. I had two or three choices, and I made the best one, which I think was the pecan pie, because my other choice was going to a store and getting me a, like a block of German chocolate cake and a block of, um, oh, <laughs> Italian cream cheesecake and eating not all of it but eating you know a slice of each until it was all gone um, so I made the better choice I think the choice that I made had less carbs had less volume of food and I was gonna buy some other things too at the store and I took one of them back so I'm making better choices I'm working on it I said, thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings, of new opportunities to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus. Thank you for a new beautiful day of blessings, of rain. Thank you that every day is an opportunity to make better choices. Thank you for all of my blessings and answered prayers, God. I am at peace, and I believe that I am feeling that from the Holy Spirit. He said, child, focus on your task for Sunday while you do work today. I did work on that too. Um, I'm going to sing on Sunday. So I've been working on, I found my old video. I'm not going to make a new one. I'm just going to use the one that I have. Um, learn and take in the lyrics of this song. Record it to child. So I'm probably going to record it too because I was asked to but not today uh, be obedient to me in all that I ask child I will order your steps when you ask me to I have to be invited into this space of time many times I feel like my children do not need me uh, they do not invite me into what they are doing I want to be a part of their whole life I, I am not too busy and I give them a new day each day to call out to me. Many do, but many more do not. Uh, me, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are available for my children at all times. So many of my children that I chose are so lost in the things of the world. It is time for them to, to step away and step into the things of eternal value. All things will perish, but the treasures in heaven last forever I am going to take you on a pictorial journey of heaven to show you the beauty but keep in mind it doesn't really compare to the beauty here no eye can replicate it on on paper though many have tried and have created a glimpse but I but I want it the true beauty and have created a glimpse but I want it the true beauty hidden until my children come many have been allowed to visit but sent back because it was not their time I have given you glimpses through dreams and visions over the years and those are to be shared child the things of the world are happening so keep your focus on me I give everyone a new day a clean slate to begin again to make better choices to live in the present and only leave the future to me your prayers are heard always but my answers are according to my perfect will and perfect timing child all things are pointing to jesus and his glorious appearing and i said i see all that you say in your word and so clearly unfolding before our eyes sometimes i can't believe what i hear and see of the evil and corruption in this world 
the corruption is deep and all following our enemy um, are filling their pockets on the backs of we the people. We will have to stand up to their lies in unity. Their words or actions, their words and actions do not match. That is blatant lying and deception of many. Many that follow you are awake to the truth. They walk in the truth and will not be deceived. You are good God all to all. You love all and want all to be spared from your righteous judgment. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for meeting with me. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug. I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient in all I ask. Make good decisions today, child. The reunion is soon, and you can only imagine how glorious and beautiful it is here. Child, be ready for the reunion is soon. It will be so very awesome to see all of you again here and safe forever. And I said, Maranatha, God. Because I'm ready, 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 ready. Okay. So it's time for the salvation part of um, what God has called me to do. He's called me to share his truths. I did that through his word. I did that through um, his words in my quiet time. I just get really still and try to clear my mind. And he starts speaking things to me. Okay, so last night we did, what are we doing? New mercies. New, new, new. I have lots to choose from now. And some things that are not, some things that are not ways to witness. I kind of like this. I'm not real good at the little thing that you open up, but... I'll try again. Okay, so let's see. Okay, the, okay, here we are. Maybe I'll figure it out someday. And it has a one and two on it. It looks like I could figure it out. Okay, so this is God over here, and this is man in sin. Okay, so they're separated because God is holy. God cannot, I mean, he can't even look on sin. He is holy. Okay, so the light on the right represents God. God is perfect, holy, and loving and has provided a way for salvation. In contrast, the man in darkness represents man in his sin, separated from God. God. Sin is more than wrong thoughts or actions, but a heart that is inclined towards evil. Jeremiah 17, 9, the Bible says, All have sinned. And fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 Apart from God's grace, man is without hope. Okay, so let's see if we can find Jesus on the cross. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So here is Jesus on the cross. Okay, Jesus on the cross. So the cross, this is really hard to <laughs> get this on both cameras. It's really hard. Okay. And especially the birthday thing going on. Oh, I know what I can do. I can get rid of the birthday thing. All right. The birthday thing's gone. Okay. Go away. Go away. Go away. You too. Okay. So there's the cross. Oh, that's so much better. Just having to work around the birthday thing. Okay, the cross is a picture of God's grace. God sent his own son, Jesus, to earth as a man. Jesus died on the cross for us so that he might take away our sins. First John 3, 5, the Bible says God demonstrates his own love for us in this while we were still sinners. 
Christ died for us, Romans 5, 8. Jesus took away our sin in his own body on the cross so that he could bring us to God. Uh, 1 Peter 2, 24, 3, 18. The Bible says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 16. There is nothing we can do on our own to pay the penalty for sin. If we could, then God would not have sent his Son to die for us. Only the blood of Jesus can wash away our sin. Okay. Now let's see where we go. Okay. Over here. It's really pretty easy once you figure it out. Okay, so over here on this side, after Jesus died on the cross, men buried him in a tomb sealed with a huge stone and guarded by soldiers. Okay? There's that. And then, right here, Jesus is risen. Three days later, God raised Jesus from the dead, declaring that he truly is the Son of God, and that God was satisfied with his payment for sin. Jesus then appeared to many people before returning to his Father in heaven. So many people saw Jesus. Many people saw Jesus. Okay. Jesus, there we are. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. The only way we can come to God is through faith in Jesus Christ. Only Jesus has paid the penalty God demands for our sin. Jesus said, I am the way the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father, God, except through me, John 14, 6. But just knowing these facts does not ensure salvation. We must respond to God's grace by trusting in Jesus Christ alone as the only one who can forgive our sin and give us God's gift of eternal life. So Jesus is the only way. If somebody is telling you that there are other ways that you can be good enough to go to heaven, that is not true. Jesus is the only way. Okay, so let's see what is next. Okay, there we are. What's next is the hand. The hands, the two hands. Trust only in Jesus. The penalty for sin is eternal separation from God. But Jesus offers you the free gift of eternal life with God. We need to accept this gift God offers. The way we demonstrate our faith in Jesus Christ is by trusting in Him alone for complete payment of our sin. The Bible says that our sin is removed through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe, Romans 3.22. Are you trusting in Jesus for your salvation? It says, um, okay. <clears throat> if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Oh, it's hard to keep all that together. Raised him from the dead, you will be saved, Romans 10, 9. If you are trusting in Christ for your salvation, tell God by praying something like this. All right, I'm going to say this prayer and I'm going to give some space so that you can repeat it if you would like. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to sit up a little bit more. Whew. Thank you. Whoops. Thank you for loving me. Dear God, sorry. Dear God, thank you for loving me. I confess that I have sinned against you.
I believe that your son Jesus died on a cross to pay for my sin and that you raised him from the dead. I trust Jesus alone to forgive me and take away all my sins. I confess that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Thank you for your gift of eternal life. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So it says, Remember, it is not the words of a prayer that save you. God saves you when you respond in faith to his grace. If you trusted in Christ today, Jesus promises you in John 10, 27 and 28, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I will give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. Okay, so the next part are all these little pictures up here. I'll try to get them closer. Okay. So the heart on there is love God. No, because you were saved by the precious blood of Christ, you should follow God and learn to please Him. Here are some of His requirements for you to grow spiritually. Love God in all people. That's what the heart stands for. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind. This is the great and foremost commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew twenty-two thirty-six through 40. And then you have this little praying guy. It's just hard to see this. Well, you can't see it over there now. It's just not very clear in this camera. It's the little praying guy right there. Pray to God constantly. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything be, pray, be by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. So the next one is up here. It's the Bible. It's the Bible. Study the Bible, God's Word, daily. Start with the Gospel of John. Read one chapter per day, each day. Like newborn babes, long for the pure milk of the Word, that by it you may grow in respect to salvation. 1 Peter 2.2 2. So the next one is the fellowship. Oh no, sorry. I covered it up. The fellowship. The fellowship right here. Okay, the fellowship. Meet regularly with other Christians, not forsaking our own assembling together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another. Hebrews 10.25 So, the last one is the cross and the world. Tell other people about Jesus. And he, Jesus, said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Mark 16.15 Okay. So that is, so if you said that prayer, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. Your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and the angels are rejoicing. 
You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus, his son. And so this was brought to you by, it's another E3. It's an E3 resources, just like this is E3. It's another E3 in a different way. I'm going to put these together because they go together very well. Okay. So I think I've done everything that I came to do. I'm going to give you a blessing from God. And I'm going to pray and I'm going to get off of here. And my friend Josie didn't make it again tonight. She must be busy. And I hope she's feeling well. Okay, so this is in Numbers 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Wow, we all need some peace right now. I do have some peace. I had a struggle yesterday and I had peace about it. I think, um, I think God helped me make a good decision. So, um, I'm at peace. So, I am good with it. I'm watching a commercial for something that we're going to take the youth to. We're going to take our youth to the Jesus People Tours. Alright, well I wish we could go and do that, but we don't live in the Metroplex, and I'm glad we don't live in the Metroplex most of the time. But we are going to take our kids to this concert. Okay, well let's pray. Let's pray. And let's be thankful. Be thankful every day when you wake up that you have a new day. It's a new day full of mercies and blessings and new choices and new opportunities to serve God. All right, God, we just come to you and we thank you. He's hurt after a while. Let's gotta go. Anyway, we just come to you, God, and we just praise you and thank you. We thank you that you do give us new mercies every day, God, and you are faithful. And great is your faithfulness. And God, that you just bring us new opportunities to further your kingdom. Help us to be obedient and to walk. Um, in uprightness, God. Um, we just pray for um, all the people that come and watch this, God. I just pray that you would bless their families and that you would provide for them and protect them, God, and that you would just um, be with them. And if they do not have a very strong relationship with you, that you would draw them to you, God. And then if they're not saved, God, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. God, we just again pray for the lost. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth. We pray for the prodigals, God. We just pray that you would be with them. We pray for Josie and her family, her sisters and their family, her brothers and their family, her children and their families, God. I just pray for blessings and protection and and peace. I pray for Mr. Mike as he um, watches over um, these boys, God, that uh, you would use him in a mighty way in their lives, God. They will look back on this time that they spent with him, God, and that they will be thankful for your influence in their lives. God, we just thank you for um, everything, God. We just thank you for everything. And we just thank you for the rain, God. There's been a lot of it, but we know, we trust you know exactly how much rain we need, God. So we just trust you in your blessings and trust you in all the things and everything, God. Help us to be bolder, to share your truths, and to share the gospel of Jesus. Help us to walk in righteousness. Help us to walk in truth and light, God. 
Help us to stay on the path with Jesus and to stay close so we can hear what he's saying, so we can see what's above, what he points out that is ahead, God. We just praise you, God, and we just thank you because, because you are our God and you are our creator. And God, you created us for great things. We just have to follow you and follow your teachings. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, my friends, my pray and share warriors, I uh, hope that you have an awesome rest of your evening and an awesome Saturday tomorrow. I'm probably going to be doing laundry tomorrow because I didn't do it today. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I've got another day to get it done. So, um, much love. Much love. I don't have my little love up on this side. Much love. Cyber hugs. Till I see you again. Good night.